what's up guys the race here welcoming you back into another video and in today's video we are looking into a whole home mesh wi-fi system by a company called tinder nova and model is tinder nova mw63 it's basically consists of three units which means that you're going to get a total coverage of 6000 square feet that's not that bad at all guys it's a quite a lot of area you are covering here and every single mesh unit come with the two gigabyte ports as well you're going to have a full control of your network using the tinder wi-fi app which is very easy to set up and can be configured with your amazon products as well well it is very much important to know the specifications of the product you are buying so i would highly recommend every one of you to check out the link i have left for you in a video description but for your peace of mind let me tell you one thing very clearly this mesh network supports two networks 2.4 and 5 gigahertz so all devices are fully covered and with the help of this mesh network you will be able to remove all your wi-fi extenders and a power line replacement with the very solid wi-fi connection as well as you can use the one gigabyte port available on each of these modules straight powering your wired devices the whole wi-fi mesh network is capable to support up to 90 devices well that's a pretty big range to be honest with you guys and it will be perfect as well now this complete system is very easy to set up and that's what i'm going to do in this video helping you how to install the application configure the whole shebang very easily so let's not waste too much of time and straight away jump into the unboxing and see what comes with this tinder nova mw6 unit you are getting one safety guide one quick installation guide three of tinder nova mw6 units now within the packaging you're also going to see rj45 cat 6 ethernet cable and three identical 12 volt at one impaired power adapter which draw at least 12 watt of power output all provided three mw6 units within the packaging are basic units actually there is no master whatsoever in there it's you who's going to decide who will be the master or a select as a primary unit and if you look from the side of construction it's a pretty much neat and square design it will suit the decoration of around your house as well in the front of it you have a manufacturer name and a complete square pieces too over on top of mw6 unit you have a status indicator light representing the signal strength and all the detailed information about the status indicator light is also available within the quick startup guide too unit can also be put on a flat surface or install on the wall if you want to come with the predefined holes and air vents as well and on all three units within the middle console two rj45 connections one is for the internet another one is a gigabyte port if you'd like to use this tenor nova to connect a wired device there's also a power port available right in here option to reset the tenor nova to the factory default is also available just right on top in here now under the base of Wi-Fi unit, you're going to see all the information to add this within the Tinder Nova application, a QR code, default SSID for the Wi-Fi 2 along with the password. And this is exactly the same information for the default password you're going to see on all Tinder Nova MW6 units. The process of configuring your Tinder Nova is easy and straightforward. Anybody can do it to be honest with you. First thing you need to do is download the Tinder Wi-Fi application available for Android as well as for iOS users. If you're on Android, by going into the Google Play Store and searching for Tinder Nova, simply install the application. And once the application is successfully installed, open it right from there. Now it's time to turn on only one of the Tinder Nova MW6 units which is right in front of us now at this stage if you like to connect internet connection to your tinder nova you can do it too now if you would have connected the internet on your tinder nova you will be able to see solid green light on the top of it otherwise it's flashing by using your application click onto the wi-fi networks now within the list of wi-fi network you should be able to locate nova b958 it's the SSID which you have on your application. Now here you need to type in the password which is available on your unit. Now at this stage you need to make sure that your Tinder Nova is connected with the internet and the solid green light is available on the top of the unit too. Now click onto the setup button 
it's going to check up the internet settings are available and everything which you can see is there click on to the next button again now it's time to give a name to your wi-fi network and change its password once password is given click on to the ok button it's going to restart your wi-fi network let it do it and now you need to reconnect with your tinder home new ssid and the password which you created for it now once you're connected if internet is available on it you're going to say good everything perfectly ordered now by going back onto the tinder wi-fi application you need to continue with the process by clicking onto the next now it's time to power up other tinder modules and you just need to follow the application will tell you what to do with it I've just placed another module within the kitchen. It's about 5 meter away from the first power module. Let me power it up completely. And you can simply go ahead with the application as well. Wait for a couple of minutes if you want to. If you see the green light on top of the module, the way I can see it, simply go, yes, I see. And right within the application, straight away, you're going to see your secondary node, which is a second node available here. Now we need to install our third secondary node which could be upstairs or actually 10 meters away from the master and now it's time to install third and the last unit simply power it up give it a couple of minutes give a couple of minutes to unit to connect with the prime nod once it's all done you'll be good to go and there we go now your setup is complete now it only took us a couple of minutes to set up whole Wi-Fi mesh network and it's only been possible using the Tinder Wi-Fi application which is very much user friendly and straightforward to work with. Now it's better to have a quick look within the Tinder application to see what it offers. On the main home screen you're going to see the Wi-Fi units available in here and you can actually give them the names too where they are located. Like my prime unit is in my living room I just selected it where it is available so simply going in there selecting one of the predefined or you can actually customize it as well if you'd like to put a custom name on it now let's suppose the secondary unit which i installed is in my kitchen so i can just simply go in there select the location and write down kitchen in here whereas my third unit it is installed upstairs in my bedroom so i can just simply tap them up and they are all done for you now whatever device will be connected to whatever network you're going to see a mark right on the top of it like in the living room because i'm using wired connections as well all the devices wired and wireless are shown in here you're also going to see devices shifting from primary unit to secondary units like a living room to the kitchen now if you'd like to make any changes in the settings by going into the settings tab everything is well organized like to change wi-fi settings where you have a quick access of changing its name or the wi-fi password or by just going enabling the guest network on a click of a button as well rather than you sharing with the, them your own password then you have a parental control which is one of the important and the one which i like the most about as well where you can create the groups as well for your kids what groups are connected to what kid and you can specify and schedule their timings too so they can have a limited amount of play time let's suppose how many megabits you wanted to give them just to play about or how long you want them devices to be on next one is the internet settings which is set by default to dhcp you get a very much limited options in here then you have a qos option which is all to do with the sharing your bandwidth by enabling it you need to tell him what bandwidth you have or you can do a test as well and i would highly recommend to do this test when you are near to the router so you can easily specify what bandwidth what device can have then you have an option for adding an extra unit of tinder nova to your network at the moment of time we have three in there if you think your house is a bit bigger you can add another module as well by simply going in here and powering it up and off it goes roaming option option for fast roaming is also available i have turned it on after that you have option of capacity oriented mode that means if you've got a clients more than 30 make sure this one is enabled i have got around 20 mod devices in my house so it's okay for me to be honest with you smart assistant feature is also available which i have turned it on as well so as a port forwarding make sure you can add some rules in there if you'd like to do any more changes in there you have also have a lane settings what i meant by that because you have got 
one gigabyte port available on each of the unit so you can specify their network ids and network addresses as well so as the dns settings and also your firmware updates too by click of one button you can check it that you have got the latest firmware available or not for you to do you can click onto the update now button it's going to download the latest firmware and make sure it's all system ready for you now while it's doing that you cannot do anything obviously your internet will shut down Now we have up to date latest firmwares available on our Tinder Novas working great as you notice that it was a one click away. Now you can also schedule some maintenance as well. You might have noticed that your internet is getting slower. You can schedule it that it will actually reboot your device when you are sleeping is better that way. It is honestly recommended to reboot your devices once in a week for him to work or flesh out anything outstanding in there or cache or something like that. Now honestly speaking so far so good. The configuration process as well as the performance of Tinder Nova what I have noticed up till now is perfectly fine and suitable for my own usage. Well now it's time to go ahead with the speed test. My internet connection from service provided is about 300 megabits per second. So at the moment, my mobile phone is connected with the prime unit. Now for this test, I'm using a speed test application, which is available for Android as well as for iOS users. Let's hit the go button and off it goes. Well, that's not bad at all. I managed to get about 309 megabits per second in download and the 36.5 and upload. Very good to be honest with you. But you have to remember that we are actually one meter away from the Wi-Fi unit. Well, now I am in my living room and we are still connected with the prime unit. Let's do a speed test and see what we're going to get in here. Well, that's not really a bad result at all, where we are getting download speed of 143 and upload of 36.4. Upload is not really getting affected if you are going away from the prime unit or connecting with the secondary, whereas download is for sure. Now my mobile phone is connected with the secondary unit. It will be ideal to do a test now. Hit the go button. And now we are getting download speed of 73.4 and upload of 36.2. So upload is not getting affected more or less, whereas download is. But having a download speed of 73.4 at another corner of your house with this mesh network, where with the standard Wi-Fi network you don't even get anything, it is an improvement. It is awesome to be honest with you. Now if you look into the strength of Wi-Fi signal, which is most of the time full bars as well. Well, honestly speaking, it's been a while I have been using this Tinder Nova whole Wi-Fi mesh system. I actually gone for a little bit higher range module actually. You can go for the small one if you live in a bungalow or something like that, which will be much more suitable. Now, overall performance of this device was fantastic for me for sure. The range was awesome to be honest with you. I never had a lack of any Wi-Fi signal throughout the whole house. Now, if I'm comparing its performance with my other Wi-Fi from my ISP provider, I have to admit it that, guys, this is way better for sure. And having a support of Tinder Wi-Fi application made it even simpler as well. I can also create the limit for my kids as well that how long they can go on internet by using the parental control for sure. Now within this complete video we have seen it what comes with this Tinder Nova Wi-Fi mesh network following with how easy it is to configure and the performance test. We also looked into the application which will give you better confidence around this whole mesh network for sure. Now that will be all guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and to be honest with you, I would highly recommend to go for Tinder Nova. There's a trick of trade let me mention to you all guys. If you have got any other Wi-Fi networks running in your house, make sure to turn them off because the interference for Wi-Fi network actually always slow down the Wi-Fi speed for sure. Now that will be all guys. Thank you again for watching this video. Shall see you soon into another one. Bye.